Дойче Дунков, ты еще увидишь, как из-за твоей продажной глупости, Анна Лена Бербок, Берлин будет гореть. Надо как-то сделать так, чтобы американские солдаты начали гибнуть. Да мы сотрем порошок Варшаву и Вильнюс. Почему мы признаем Францию и ее границу? Как я хочу посмотреть, чтобы Урсулиха фон дер Ляля корчилась с куском беспилотников глотки. Когда на сегодняшний день мы говорим, что война будет безъядерной, мы, наверное, лукаем. По количеству надуш населения, правда, Канада ее опережает, но Америка – это мировая держава подобрела. Я сейчас требую спалить Берлин. Welcome to a new episode of Russian Hate Speech, where we explore the most absurd statements from Russian propagandists trying to fuel anti-Western sentiments among Russians. Let's start by listening to Russian arms dealer Viktor Bud, labeled the Western nations as a cult of satanists. We must stay the course, win this war against Satanists and achieve all the goals our president outlined when he launched the special military operation. By doing so, we will change the world. As it stands, this Western elite that rules the so-called Western world is nothing more than a cult of Satanists whose primary goal is the ritual suicide of everyone else but themselves. That's a pretty grim accusation, especially for anyone living in the West. But don't worry, Russian propagandist Margarita Simonyan has a reassuring suggestion. Apparently, if you're searching for heaven on earth, Russia's got you covered. I think this is a historic time and this is our chance to gather the best of the best of normal people from all over the world to help dig ourselves out of this demographic hole and once again in our history become a great strong nation and a Russian empire. Metaphysically speaking, if there is no more the Sodom and Gomorrah which they keep trying to impose upon us, heaven did remain somewhere. As our president said, they will all die and we will go to heaven. Perhaps in this context, heaven will remain on earth at our latitude. A man as a biological specimen will remain at our latitude, God willing. And lastly, Let's listen to another Russian propagandist and politician, Andrei Gurulov, warning that the more the West supplies weapons to Ukraine, the more likely Russia will attack the countries of the collective West. The Germans say, no need to intimidate us. We will deploy medium-range missiles and we need to help Ukraine. If we don't help Ukraine, Russia will come to us. I assure you, the more you help Ukraine, the more likely Russia will come to you. You are playing with fire. There will be nowhere to go. Guru Lov's warning is nothing more than an angry rant in response to the strong military support Ukraine receives from its Western allies. Russian propaganda has been desperately trying to discredit this assistance, as it significantly hampers Russia's military objectives in Ukraine. So there you have it. A vivid picture of Russian rhetoric where the West is painted as a satanic threat, Russia is cast as the world's savior and any assistance to Ukraine is framed as a direct provocation, all designed to fuel fear, justify aggression and rally domestic support. Join us next time as we continue to break down these dangerous narratives. Until then, stay informed and don't let propaganda win.